It turns out dark chocolate is just what the doctor ordered. A lot of you may know that there's a lot of health benefits to dark chocolate, but just what should we be buying? How much should we be eating every day? Moderation is key, obviously. And when it comes to dark chocolate, I find that it's so rich, I don't want to eat the whole bar. So you're talking about an ounce a day, maybe a little bit more depending on your appetite, but what it does to our bodies it is helps us fight aging all that oxidative stress from the rest of our lifestyle from the sun from what we eat dark chocolate actually helps to fight that and it's really great for our skin because it has part of those good fats that we want things like we get in salmon and avocados all that good stuff but this tastes a little bit different so if you have a sweet tooth don't be afraid to reach for the dark chocolate just make sure you're looking at the percentage of cacao you want at least 70%. That means that you're talking about mostly what you're eating in that bar is coming from that cacao plant. Really important. You can go up to 85%. It gets more bitter at that point. Some people like that, but just look for at least 70 to 85%. I actually got this bar of dark chocolate, one of my favorite brands, by the way, at my local CVS. So you don't need to be going to specialty stores, organic stores. I'm really happy to see that dark chocolate is more available and widespread for us. So when it comes to eating it a little bit every day, we don't wanna be gorging ourselves, but if we do, at least we don't feel as badly as if we gorged on white chocolate or milk chocolate, which is basically less cacao and all sugar. So try to start getting into a little bit of dark chocolate. The health benefits really can't be overestimated.